Hi guys! I thought I would do a bit of an update video and just kind of a quick rock walk around our property so you can see what's going on. We do have a lot of changes since the last time I posted and there's a lot of um, in progress work going on. So let's take a look. This is one of our raised beds and the yellow flowers you see are from a bolting lettuce it looks like and the purple flowers are from peas that i think are about to start making purple potted peas and hopefully they do they got dry but they've had water so hopefully they come back i did not have a lot of luck with my lettuce i mean not lettuce carrots so I pretty thickly planted this area with carrots and I only have a few right here and a few under here. But the ragged jack kale is looking great and tasty. There's a couple of squash in the back and some more half alive peas right there. And this is my second garden bed with squash and you're not going to believe this. So few little peas in the back but look that's all in one raised bed <laughs> now that's a lot I may have to come in here and take some of these plants out because there's a lot in here and you can tell they're suffering some nutrient deficiencies with the yellow leaves on the bottom so I think that's probably what I'm gonna have to do but look at this Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, that plant is just prolifically producing squash right there. This is the end of that bed. And it has these light green peas on it. And they're so good. Mmm. Delicious. They're like super sweet. This is the other side of that bed. But there are zucchini in here somewhere. There are some zucchini. I'm excited for these guys. This gorgeous container has, oh, what's the name of that? I think lemon slice. A, it's a proven winner's plant, but I can't remember the name of it now. I think it's lemon slice something. And I have a baby tomato in here. Not baby, but tiny tomato. I can't remember what it's called. And then I just saw some bugs on the mint that is native to this pot, basically. So I sprinkled some seven dust on it because it's what I had handy but I would normally put something else on it. I have this beautiful pot of Proven Winners Super Tunia Vista. Now, I think I need to trim it up, but it's doing great. The salvia had a bunch of weeds growing around it, which was propping it up so the stems didn't get as strong as they should have. So I'm gonna end up pruning it back and moving it anyway so it'll bloom again later look at these beautiful ferns that I got I was at Lowe's looking at clearance plants and I found these for $7.50 a piece so I have to have these and then this bed is mostly elephant ears and a red, what's it called? Canna lily. So there's a bunch of elephant ears in here and a couple of red canna lilies. And this really long, tall grass, I have no idea what that is. So I was gonna cut it, but 
I realized it actually kind of looks good, so I left it, even though I have no idea what it is. I have been cutting our shrubs back. One side done, one side not done. So hopefully I catch up and get them all done. This is my nursery of plants waiting to be planted out. And you can see that we neglected watering for a little while, so we've had some casualties here. But we have a whole bunch of beautiful pepper plants that are ready to go out. My, all of my pepper plants that I started failed. Well, really, they failed because of me, but ne nevertheless, they are no more. And this is the other side of that, of this bed. And in here, on this side, is potatoes. Do you remember all of those little tiny potatoes that I planted that I didn't know if they, any, any, they would do anything? Well, they definitely did something. <laughs> so they're beautiful. And I have asparagus that I transplanted in here and onions that I've kind of just mixed in with everything. And then there's some more kale and spinach and lettuce, all kind of mixed in right in there. All right, you guys, you are seeing the mess that is springtime here. Um, I have all of my drip irrigation supplies out because I'm trying to run dip, drip irrigation to all of the places we don't currently have it. And here are some salvias that did not have weeds growing all around them. So the stems look really good and they're holding themselves upright. This bed, I'm calling my herb bed. Um, but there's a lot of things mixed in here. So down here, we have some Brad's Atomic Grape Cherry Tomatoes and Yellow Pear Tomatoes. And then I have a bunch of different herbs, herb seeds planted in the front that I just planted a few days ago. Um, I also have dill, sage, thyme, oregano, thyme again, different kind of thyme, cilantro, my rosemary got planted backwards. <laughs> My daughter did that, um, which is fine. It'll, I might have to trim it up. I will have to trim it up, but that's okay. Parsley, a couple different kinds. These are mortgage lifter tomatoes, I think. These I got from somebody else. They're not tomatoes that I grew. There's a bunch of basil plants in here. There are... Um, marigolds also planted here or there some of them have taken and some of them haven't but look guys i want to show you something fun do you see that little guy happy birthday mammoth sun sunflower i almost called it a sunshine so i have a whole bunch of mammoth sunflower plants that are having birthdays today look there's one that's about ready to have his birthday it's probably gonna be tomorrow there's some kind of little bug in there moving things around that's always fun there's another one happy birthday i love that so my vision I also trimmed up these privet, privet hedge, I think is what it is. Um, my vision for this bed is that it will have big, beautiful sunflowers behind it and herbs and tomatoes and all kinds of cool stuff going on in the front. And I'm toying with the idea of planting yarrow in here in like the in-between space where there's nothing. And look at this, guys. I have been on the hunt 
for potting table for a long time. Now, keep in mind, I destroy things pretty thoroughly and regularly, so I didn't want something destructible. I got this on Craigslist for $40. It is 100% stainless steel, gorgeous, absolutely. It's got some dings in it, but they're not bad. I think, well, the drawer must pull out on the other side. And there's a drawer in there too. I haven't used the table yet because I just got it. All right, what else can I show you? All right, I got all of these wood chips last year. Those are little terracotta pots, little mini ones. Um, probably early winter. And I had them pile them all up in this bed because, and I put landscaping fabric down because we had a really bad weed problem in this bed and I wanted to try to knock that out. And as they're aging, I'm going to start doing other things with them. And I really thought that my Japanese maple died because it de-leafed right after I had all of these wood chips, which I, I know I'm not supposed to put a ton of wood chips on all around the trunk of a tree. I do know that. Um, however, I did. And it came back beautiful. I was so upset that I thought I lost this tree. But it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. This is right by our back door. And look, you can see, like, I have, whoops, I have boxes and boxes of seeds on a table back there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going planting graze. Eh? All right, so in here I have mums planted in the front. I'm kind of going a different direction here. I'm trying to make this all flowers this year. I have two limelight hydrangeas in the back. I have a bunch of diamond mountain or diamond mist euphorbia right here that I'm going to plant in here. Um, and I think I'm gonna plant zinnias on this side because our, we walk into our back door this way. So that way you'll see. And I haven't totally nailed all this down yet because I do have a bird fountain and there's a big stump buried under the ground here that I could unbury and put the bird fountain in and put the diamond mist euphorbia around the bird fountain, which I think would be really neat. It's a concrete bird fountain. And then put zinnias all around. Actually, I think I might do that. Um, but we'll see. You'll find out hopefully well, I'm going to say hopefully I get to this tomorrow on everything we talk about because that's just how my brain works. Another hedge that I tackled. Peaches! We have been very diligently picking any peaches that show signs of bug damage, like the bugs crawling out of them. So I'm hoping that will help keep control over this this year. I think, well I thought, the leaves look different now, but I thought that was a peach tree too, but I don't know what kind of tree that is now. And this is a peach tree that I cut down and I only just realized today that this wasn't a weed, that it, this was the tree trying to come back. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Can you see way back in there? That's elephant garlic. Hi, elephant garlic. This is basically a tomato bed. You can see a lot of corn over here. A lot of these tomatoes just got planted and you can see that I stripped them pretty good, like one to two feet tall. And I'll come in here and do the Florida weave to keep them up. But I have, let's see if I can remember so I can tell you. The red solo cups are what I was growing the tomatoes in. This is purple Russian. This is dancing with Smurfs. And these are a purple, almost black cherry tomato I've never had. I've also never had the purple Russians. This is all Roma tomatoes. Whoops, sorry. This is all Roma tomatoes. I think 
the first two plants I think just said Roma and the rest of them are Opelika Roma. Now I planted a whole bunch of different plants, a bunch of different, um, probably six or seven of every plant I transplanted. So these are the ones that made it to the stage where I was comfortable planting them. This row right here is a manna orange in the front and Kellogg's breakfast in the back. And then I have just some sweet yellow corn. It was in an old packet. I swear I didn't even think it was going to come up, but it did. And I do plan to plant beans around them, which I need to do. I keep forgetting to soak them, so I got to do that tonight. Note to self. Um, I have ground cherries up here. I have tomatillos in here. This is where I'm probably going to forget some. Those two in the back are nature's riddles. I don't remember what these three are, but I have them all documented, so I'll figure them out later. These were like onesies and twosies of different plants. I just stuck in between the spots where the corn didn't come up. Here's another one of something. And it looks like... I need to figure out what's eating. I probably have slugs back here that are eating my tomatoes. So I need to come in here and um, put slug bait down because I don't want my tomatoes to be sad. There's a few more back here again. Don't remember what they are, but I'll figure it out. And this, look at this. You see the difference between the weed fabric and the not weed fabric. This area, the chickens don't really get to. So you can see how it usually gets pretty thick right in there. Now, when I let the chickens out, they pretty immediately come to this area right here to eat the vegetation, I think, because they look at it all day long. Hi, Chicky Chicky. Hi, Chicky. The blonde chicken right there on top is a mean mamma jamma. She will, she is a bully of our yard. You can see our rooster. And these are our baby chicks, which are six weeks old now, and they're fully feathered. So we went ahead and put them in here. They are small enough to get in and out of that dog kennel that is inside there, which is fine with me. It just gives them a shaded area that is protected from the other chickens if they want to get in there. So at some point they won't be able to either get back in or get out, which is okay. And the new residents of the chicken hotel here are hopefully going to be some baby chicks from that mama right there. She is our broody mama. She has been broody every year we've had her. And this is the first year she's had a um, rooster. So hopefully we get some babies. So we'll have to put some hardware cloth around to keep the babies in once she has her babies so don't judge me but this is kind of junkyard central over here <laughs> these are the way not to make a raised bed um, this is my first attempt at ever making a raised bed so these are the onions that did nothing for me last year but are doing fabulous this year so i'm letting them continue on the chickens do love to get in there and root around so i do pretty steadily have to take onions out of there which is fine this bed totally collapsed can't even tell there's bed under there anymore and this bed had garlic in it which looks like it has all died which is fine okay so this long stretch right here next to the chicken coop i would like to take the soil from two of these raised beds and make a raised bed right here 
And if I need to take all three raised beds and do it, I will. I just don't know if I'm going to have to do that or not. I'm also going to cover that with weed fabric because I found that is the way to get the chickens not to mess with your plants. Um, because there's so much other green around here, they go for that instead of the weed fabric. And I want to plant flowers and who knows what else, but I really want some flowers. This is our daddy. Hi, daddy. We call him hot stuff. That's Crystal. She's really pet bunny. We love her. She doesn't like to be held though. So we kind of let her have her way out here. She's retired and happy. So that's just a quick walk around the back part of our property where we grow food. Uh, I didn't show you everything. But I tried to show you a lot, and there's a lot in progress, which is why we haven't had too many videos up lately. I really need to get better about filming what we're doing, because I just come out here and get into it. You know how it is. So anyway, that's one step in our progress toward getting ready for the spring, and I have to go back to work Monday. Oh my goodness. Um, we, I've been working from home for a while, for quite a while, along with probably a lot of you. And I go back to work two days a week starting this Monday. And I don't know how long that's going to go. Probably till June or July-ish. Who knows? Everything changes all the time at this point. Um, and once I am back at work four days a week, it's going to be a lot harder to get stuff done. So I'm trying to get as much done now as I can. And most especially get all the plants I've already bought in the ground and get all the seeds I want to plant in the ground because I still need to plant okra. I've got all these green peppers I need to plant. <sighs> Don't get me started. <laughs> all right. You guys have a great night and I hope that you are having a fabulous time during your pandemic vacation. <laughs> Bye.